Hello, my beautiful fragrance family. Dustin here, fragrance fan. Go ahead and do me a solid and click that like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell notification. I'm just going to keep on bringing you guys these budget friendly fragrance reviews. That 40 ish and under dollar range, most of these are way less than that, and a good number of these you can find at your local rack stores. The one I got today is not a rack store find. I found it for about in the mid to upper 20s on Amazon, September of 2024. This is a 2023 release. No real reviews on this thing. Really hard to find some information out on this thing. And I'm talking about our Moths Nomad Wanderer. Interesting presentation. The little detailing right there is an imprint. It's pretty detailed. It says name on the back right there. These unzip enough to take the bottle out of its pleather sleeve right there. And it's just a black bottle. They don't open all the way. They just loosen it when they zip. So I wonder who that dude is, huh? Interesting design for a bottle. Cool part. Magnetic. It's a strong magnet too. I wasn't expecting that. And the atomizer. It's like your typical arm off, just below average atomizer. So this is an eau de parfum concentration and uh, I believe that to be 100% true because I squirted this on my hand a little while ago. I don't know if you can see it there. I know you're seeing all the scrapes and stuff like that. But it's, in my view, it's got a nice little sheen on this hand and this hand. So like, and I can feel the oil. So they're not skimping out in the oil. Uh, so I'm pretty sure this is actually an Eau de Parfum concentration. On the little zippers there, it says arm off too. Some more detailing. So Middle Eastern houses, man, they go all out with their presentations. They always try to be like unique and different, but it's not about the presentation, even though that to me is kind of cool. It's about the juice inside. What's this thing smell like? If you look this thing up on Parfuma.net or for Grantica, you're going to be wildly confused as it has like 30 different notes in it. So I'm going to do my best to paint a picture of what this thing smells like to me. Hopefully it registers with you guys and give you an idea of whether or not you should purchase this one or not. So to me, up in the top, like the main focus is like this real tart green apple lime combination, a little bit of sweet plum, uh, the same kind of black pepper that's in Sauvage and hints of iris. There's also like a dusty powdery aspect to this thing. It's got some woods in here puffs of incense here and there little bits of like raspberry and leather but more than anything else it's sharp tart semi-sweet powdery spicy kind of a fragrance a lot of ambroxan feel without any ambroxan in this and i think that's why people compare this to sauvage because the black pepper ambroxan thing but this is not sauvage it does borrow like 20 to 30 percent from Sauvage and completely does its own thing in so many different ways. To be honest, it's kind of a mess. It's kind of a mess as far as the way that everything's going on. There is so much stuff, it's like it couldn't figure out what it wanted to do. But it's really, really, really versatile extremely versatile it is a dumb rage fragrance i've been wearing this thing for the past couple days i have gotten compliments from this thing the performance is on the stronger side of average I, I can see this being a little bit better than the stronger side of average for some of you guys but for me it's like a six maybe a six and a half hour fragrance so that's cool and being versatile like it is also very cool it's I think it's doing the best probably in like the spring and the fall winter it's okay summer pretty good daytime nighttime office friendly as can be because it's so inoffensive i said this thing was a mess but that's because it's so busy it's like there's so many things trying to go on it doesn't smell like a 30 note fragrance um i'll say that i don't mean it's busy like that i mean it's just the way that it's all blended together it's kind of a mess but i will still give this i'll give it a seven out of ten because just because the scent profile alone is a six and a half and i'm being real conservative when i say that i'm getting the stronger side of average to this thing i could easily be getting seven hours out of this thing but going nose blind near the end because it just seems like that kind of fragrance so i'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt i haven't had it that long but i have spent a few days with this thing so i still think it's a safe bet to say this is a seven out of ten it's nice smelling it smells more than nice it smells really good is it a mess a synthetic mess absolutely fresh 
spicy, somewhat powdery, little bit, a little bit sweet. Some people say it's really sweet. I don't think it's really sweet. I think it's a little sweet. I think it's more citrus dominant than sweet, but there is a raspberry plum thing going on in here. Just not a whole lot to me, just not to me. Sharp, tart, citrus, a little bit sweet, powdery, touches of floral, iris, not 30 notes <laughs> to my nose. There's like all kinds of things. There's like honey and geranium and lily of the valley and magnolia and like six different kind of woods and like canola oil and myrrh and it just goes on and on. Musk, there's musk in here. You can detect musk. I forgot to say that. There is a musk note in here and it's detectable, but it's not dominant. It's just adding to the fragrance. So again, they say a good teacher repeats themselves, right? So again, citrus dominant, the tart citruses, bergamot, lime. I didn't say bergamot because at first because it's more lime dominant. I'm just trying to go with the keynotes. Lime, green apple, plum, pepper, iris, woods, a little bit of raspberry, a little bit of bergamot, even touches of ginger in here. Decent fragrance. It is a mess, but it's a good mess. It's a good synthetic mess. If you're a niche knob, I don't know why you're watching me, and you won't like this, but if you're a simple guy like me that wants a nice dumb reach fragrance that works in any occasion, you don't know what you want to wear, and you just want something that's gonna work, this one might do the trick. Is it the best smelling fragrance out there? No. Is it worth what I paid for it? I'd say yeah. Can you do better for that money? I would say yes again. But am I disappointed in this? No. It's going to find its spot in my rotation. I like simple dumb reach fragrances. This is kind of a blue fragrance. It's a blue fragrance. Doesn't look like it being in the bottle like that, but it's a blue fragrance. So leaning a little bit on some darker aspects, but that's my final thoughts. Oh, masculine, more mature, a little bit more mature than it is youthful because of like the irisy, powdery, spicy things going on in here. It's uh takes from a lot of youthful fragrances, but adds a mature twist to it. So that's my final thoughts on Afnan's Nomad Wanderer. With that, I'm out. Y'all be blessed. Take care of yourself always. Until next time.